so making a quick video y'all um about to get some decals that i had on my uh older challenger which was a v6 because you know your boy riding in a v8 right now but um headed to haynes mall meet at a local restaurant um meet a company called uh creative sign solutions uh i use them most of the time to do all my car decals um and i'm on my way to them i'm, a, I'm running a little bit late though in which he is too but he's beating me there already so i'm extremely late but i'm gonna holler at y'all when i get there so just getting here I don't know how shy you are about being on camera. Eh, I'm okay. all right, man. Oh, here, I'll go this, ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, let me put my mask on. Because you know, man. still not out of it just yet, baby. Yeah. <laughs> but this is the guy. He does the deliveries for Creative Science Solutions. And as you see, he's brought my delivery. Ah, uh, yes. Here we go. So here is the big banner. And they did it right too. They did it perfect. Awesome. That's awesome. gonna go on the back window, guys. Excellent. And of course. And then what I didn't get from factory, they made it for me. So but like I told y'all, they will do any decal, you name it. You got a print for them, they'll print it out for you, they'll cut it up, see the size, the measurements you give them, and just meet them at the location. If you're near or far, they come to you. Or maybe mail it to you. So I'm up out of here, about to head back to the house and maybe put these stickers on. So I'm gonna catch y'all when I get back to the house. So I got to the house and I think I may just have to do these decals tomorrow because I don't know how well they may stick when it gets cold. And it looks like it's gonna fit perfectly to me. But we'll figure that out when we put it on. So as y'all can see, it is raining. So I'm kind of glad I got the work done before it did. As you can see on the window, I got the banner on the back. So what I had to really do was tape that side and that side at the same time since I did it by myself. And once I laid half of it down, I untaped the other half and laid that side down. The way I'm talking about it, Sounded like I did it fast, but I didn't. It took me about an hour to do that. And I put this on there uh, from the beginning. I had the Challenger on there, but for some odd reason, I taped it back on the wrong side of the paper to kind of lift it up and it got stuck to the paper and just didn't go well. So I just stuck with the RT part on there. Um, I'm probably just going to order another Challenger uh, right for that right there. But until then, I'll probably just go on like eBay or something and just order the actual Mopar pieces or emblems that actually go on the car. So until then, guys, I'll be just waiting for these emblems to come in the mail. And I'll probably make a more in-depth um video about sticking those on the car just to show y'all the actual inches from the corners and stuff because 
Some people just stick them on their cars and they look off and all that stuff. I like to do mine a little bit perfect. I'm not saying it's gonna be perfect, but you can at least try. So I'm happy about the banner. I'm happy about the wing decal. And it is what it is. Another thing I'm probably gonna do is actually turn this to a black Hemi. Uh, the chrome is good, but they just to match the wheels, I have to turn that. Um, it's only right for me to turn that Hemi symbol all black, just to match the wheels. Shout out to um, Creative Sign Solutions. Y'all always get me right. It's my fault that I messed up on the Challenger wing decal. So I just have to come back to y'all and get another one.